So if that makes sense, we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to the blues scale. Now there's a minor blues and a major blues, and this is actually quite easy because we're still going to use the pentatonics that we already have. We're just going to add a note into it. So for instance, with this minor pentatonic in the key of A here, I'm going to add in what's called the blue note. Now the blue note is the note that really does make it sound bluesy, um, but it's a kind of a dangerous note because it's a note that you want to utilize within your soloing, but it's not a note that you want to emphasize. Remember we just talked about how if we were in the key of A, we would emphasize the note A? Well this blues note sounds horrible over a chord. Again, if we're playing you know, death metal or something, it would sound just fine, but it doesn't sound good for blues. So again, I'm going to show you how to use all these things, but let me show you the scale first. That guy right there, that middle finger, that's your blue note. Now, it occurs again in the next octave. Now you'll start hearing some of that blues element. See? That's what's so great about that note. Okay? So the blues note, or blue note we call it, okay? So we're going five set, or excuse me, five eight, and then five six seven, and then five seven, then five seven eight, and then five eight five eight. So this kind of blows your whole down up thing right out of the water because some strings have three and some strings have two. That's why it's really important to get used to being able to alternate pick and not worry about the fact that you're going to a new string or coming from a new string. You just learn how to move the pick back and forth. Do you see my pick right there? All I'm doing is I'm, I'm not concerned about moving strings. I'm more concerned about just moving back and forth. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So all the while that you're memorizing things, you're always working on the technique of whatever it is that you're memorizing. Okay? So that's what a minor pentatonic with the blue note, which we call a blue scale, that's what it is, is adding in that blue note. Now the cool thing is, when you want major pentatonic, you add it in in the exact same place. So I move down three frets, which again, if you think about it, if I was really an F sharp minor, it would look the same. Right? But I don't want the F sharp, I want the A. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but I'm just starting and emphasizing this note. back to the F sharp, but I'm going to come back and emphasize that A. It's not like that F sharp is taboo. I just have to keep reminding myself that the F sharp is not the note I'm trying to target or emphasize. It's the A. That's what I'm trying to target. Okay? So throughout all the other positions, and these will be in your booklet as well, will be the blues scales, the minor blues scale and the major blues scale in all five positions. Okay? So again, you might just be learning the minor pentatonic, first position, and that's fine. You might be learning the minor pentatonic with the blue note, and that's fine, first position. You might be learning the major pentatonic, or the major pentatonic with the blue note. Okay, We know the five positions exist, and most of my students do. That doesn't mean they always learn all five positions. Um, and you just have to remember that as, as much as I want you to learn all of these things, you have to take it in stride. I'm giving you a lot of information to focus on um, to kind of grow your playing. So this stuff takes a long time to, to nurture and, and really build, both from a technical level and from a visual level. Because, you know, like I said, when I first started learning this stuff, I used to get lost all the time because I was trying to learn too much. So I'd completely get lost. Hi there. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I certainly hope that it helped you a little bit. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please do me a huge favor and either like it, subscribe to the channel, share it, or comment on it. Okay, that's going to help us out enormously. Um, and then we can keep in contact with you when we have new material that comes out. And if you uh, enjoyed the video, we've got some other videos over here that you can watch that might be able to help you on your guitar journey as well. And if you look up on the top there, you're going to see there's a little eye up there. If you click on that, we are going to be giving you a free gift just to say thank you for watching the video. Um, and then if you'd like to follow us on social media, you can use the term at GuitarZoom and you can find us there. All right. So take care, keep practicing and have a great day.